we start with our stopper bead as I was saying try to use a bigger one leave quite a tail and go back twice So one red, three black, one red, three black, one red. This is the sequence for one side of the diamond this is the first diamond and now we create the second diamond with three black one red three black one red here we have the second diamond and we are adding the pico of three black one The last three being the pico, we just turn back through the first red connector. Now we close the first diamond, so for this one we pick up three black, one red, three black. And we close the first diamond by skipping one and go through the next red. And to close the next diamond, the same sequence, three black, one red, three black. and we go back through the first red now we add three black one red three black for the pico and we create a pico in this direction so we go back through the red that we have just added and now we close this diamond and we close it by adding the second side with three black one red three black and we skip the first connector and go through the second one this is our first diamond and we close the second diamond in the same way one two three black one red one two three black skip one connector go through the next red connector now we create half of the side with a pico so we are adding three black one red and three black for the pico and go back through the red connector that we've just added
and we continue with the first diamond, the second side, so three black, one red, three black. Skip the first connector and go back through the second one. So this was the first diamond and now we end with the second diamond. So the second side of it. Three black, one red, three black. We skip one connector, go through the second. And this is the sequence that we keep repeating. Create half a side with one pico. Finish the second, uh, the first diamond with the second side, the second diamond with the second side. And then again, half of the side with a pico. And let's work together. So from here, we create the half a side with a pico. So three black, one red, which is always the connector, and three black for the pico, go back through the connector, and when we are here, we obviously end the first diamond and the second diamond. As we already know, a side of a diamond consists of three black, one red, three black. We skip the first connector, go through the second. And then again, the second side, three, one red and three black again. Skip the first connector, go through the second. And when we are here at the end, we create half of the side only. So this means only three black with one red. And then we add three black for the pico. Like this. We go back through the red connector and we just continue adding the second half of the of the first diamond, the second half of the second diamond, half a side with a pico and come back. So and you obviously create this in the length that you need. Because of this pattern, you can make it narrower or even wider, just adding sides, um, diamonds. So that's the idea. And I'll make some length of this and I'll come back and show you how I embellish it with the bicons. Here at the end, the best way to secure this half a diamond is to add five, in my opinion, is to add five black seed beads and kind of close this side just to keep it together. Now we move the thread to the top red connector and for this we are going to 
follow the path. So we go back on this side of a diamond. We go up, we follow the path of the pico. So we go around. And then we go out through the red connector like this. And now that we have moved the thread here, we can start embellishing with uh, bicons. Because the bicons cut the thread very easily, we try to protect it with one eleven o at on both sides, and this way we make sure that it lasts when is worn. And then we go through the next connector. We add one eleven o one by cone and then another seed bead and this is our first row of the embellishment and now we move the thread at the top uh, a red connector and we go again through the pico and through the red connector. This way we change the direction of the thread and we go this way down. So again, one seed bead, one bicone, one seed bead and go back down the next connector. one seed bead, one bicone, one seed bead and go back through this one. And this is how we continue to embellish for the length of our for the length of our netted base. So we go with the thread here, like this, we just follow the thread path in the pico and then we go this way. Move the thread, pico, here. So this is the way we go. Let's try one more embellishment together. So we move up with the thread and here one red, one bicon, one red go through the next connector Okay, one seed bead, one bicone, one seed bead, and go through the next connector. And because we know that we have to move the thread up, we just go in with the thread up in one go. And follow the path of the pico. here and now we continue with our sequence
and here you I think it's very pretty and quite easy to make. Thank you for watching.